working on this three this three fitty this three fitty again this time you're having trouble starting it won't start Ugh. and i know what the problem is and why it won't start ah oh, it's dark again let me turn some light on i apologize i apologize all right so the problem is it's this here sensor right here this is the oh man what's the right term for it but it's like the like the the, the clutch sensor i want to say starter switch but uh uh that it, it might be the starter switch. anyway it's a sensor as you can see there's a button right here when you step on the clutch it pushes the button in it's just like yeah look i'm gonna try to show you hey uh, yeah uh give me one sec i'll put the key in so if you put the key in and turn it, it ain't gonna do nothing. Okay, not you know, it ain't gonna do nothing. But uh, I can't I can't do it right now because I need to hold the phone. But when you step on the clutch, as you can see, this flat piece right here pushes the sensor in, and, and it allows the signal to get to the starter. I would demonstrate, but uh, I can't because I need to hold my phone. But uh this sensor is bad occasionally when he step on the clutch and turn the key the car don't want to start got the jams going let me turn the jams off you know what I'm saying copyright get me in truck man you gonna get me in truck all right I got that off can't be playing that um so occasionally when he step on the clutch try to start the car the car don't want to start and uh, he tell me like, man, I gotta step on the clutch like four, five times. I think you need to adjust my clutch. Nah, nah, nah. When he said that, I already knew the sensor must be going out. And when I first came out here, I went to start the car. It didn't want to start. So I reached up under here and uh, I stepped on the clutch. Didn't want to start. I let the clutch go. I pushed it with my finger. It still didn't want to start. So I released it with my finger while holding the key forward and pushed it in again and the car started so that's a sign this this bad boy right here yeah it ain't acting right so i'm gonna show you a little trick if your money ain't right at the moment and your car don't want to start or you know if you uh got a paper clip or a wire or something on you i'm gonna show you how to make a bridge hot wire this bad boy to where like you don't even need this no more it'll just fire up from the turn of the key so uh until you get the money to purchase a new sensor I'm gonna show you how you can bypass it, okay? Okay, okay. So, let me get this sensor and plug, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do out of that. Why? Alright, so I just I put it back in, but I just wanted to make sure how to disconnect it. I don't know if this whole piece come out with the with the white end included with the uh, blue part, but come to find out, the white piece stays in, and just the blue pieces come out. So what you do? squeeze it this blue part right here squeeze and pull and you see the connector come out and this white piece stayed in there i thought it all would come out but mm -mm. so now we got this connector out i'm gonna show you what i do with this connector now boy get this bad boy to start <laughs> now this this, this 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 right here i don't know if you can see it but uh, I got the lamest camera ever. Anyway, all I'm holding is a uh, paper clip. And all you got to do is snip it or whatever, make it a U. And all this paper clip going to do is bridge it. You're going to stick it in there. These two prongs right here, you just go stick it up in there. Now, the reason it has electrical tape on it, because when you do stick it up in there, you do not want this to touch metal. Why? If this touch metal... It's going to start a firework show and it's going to blow your fuse, okay? So, you want to wrap it with tape just in case it does touch metal on the accident while you're trying to put it in there. But anyway, this is just acting as a bridge. A bridge allows uh, uh, the current to get across. When you step on this button, it closes the gap, makes the bridge, and the voltage can get across to the starter. That's why your car starts, okay? We go bypass this. We making our own bridge with this or if you got wire same thing so now when i put this in there i should be able to start the car without even stepping on the clutch 
bypassing this faulty sensor, okay? And this is temporary, unless you want to keep it permanent. Long as it's taped off and ain't touching metal and this is out of the way, it'll work as long as, you know, it'll work forever pretty much, but you know, you, you want to keep your stuff legit. So it's just a temporary fix to get you home if you stranded or, you know, if you ain't got the papers at the moment to get another sensor. So let me get this in here and demonstrate. All right, so I got it in there. This wire is pretty long, which is good to give you room to play. So I got the paper clip in there, as you can see, got it taped off. And uh, now I'm gonna demonstrate. There's the, oh, give me a second, I ain't even got the key in there. All right, I got the key in there. Look, here's my dog. My dog's right here, I ain't got no, I ain't got no, yeah. So turn the key forward. Reason I showed you my dog is just to demonstrate. I'm not even stepping on the clutch. All right, so my feet right here. You see my dog, turn the key. It didn't fire up, but you can hear it cranking. All right, it fired up. You see that? I wasn't even stepping on the clutch. Car's running. Showing almost 3,000 RPM. I'm gonna cut it off. All right, so another demonstration, turn the key forward. There you go. Wasn't even stepping on the clutch. So that's just a quick fix in case you uh, I'm gonna call it a starter switch. I'm not for sure if that's the name of that sensor or whatever, but all it is, take this out. Like I stated before, all it does is send the current to the starter by stepping on the clutch. And if you don't step on the clutch, of course the, the car won't start. But it's a sensor, it's electronic, it'll go out on you. And um, when it do go out on you, bypass it and get your butt home, go to work, save you a couple pennies, and go buy another sensor. So it's a quick video, that's all I want to show y'all. Make sure you tape it off and tuck it out of the way so you don't be stepping on it and rip the harness or something like that. But uh, I love y'all, man. Like, subscribe, share this video. It can come in handy for somebody who's stranded on the side of the road. And might have a paper clip with them, you know, from some work, they school work or whatever. All you need is a paper clip or wire, bypass it, and you dipping again. So uh, like, subscribe, share. I catch y'all in the next one.